Commuters in the metro will soon have a new place to call home. The NOW's Tara Hall joins us now to explain the latest developments concerning Mission Shoto. Yeah, we've covered this extensively over the last few years. It's been two years in the making, but the Prairie Village City Council finally approved a permit that will allow the Tutera group to move forward with building its 12th senior living project in the metro, Mission Chateau. Now, it'll go right here, right at the corner, uh, right near the corner, rather, of 84th and Mission. Right now, though, that is the Mission Valley Middle School, which has been closed for some time. In an 11 to 2 vote Monday night, the Prairie Village City Council approved the Tutera group's pet project, Mission Chateau. The approval means Tutera can move forward with raising the now closed Mission Valley Middle School and moving forward with its nearly 215,000 square foot senior living facility. Basically, the neighborhood doesn't want it. We do not need another senior living center in Prairie Village. Uh, we're an area of six square miles, and we already have five planned senior living centers. Councilman David Morrison was one of only two Prairie Village Council members to vote against the project. Now he says he plans to challenge the decision. I want to champion the school. That's what's best for Prairie Village. And I'm going to look at any way possible to overturn this SUP. For Randy Bloom of Tutera, the project will fill a gap in the area's senior living options. That although this has been a lengthy process and although um, it has received much attention. At the core of this is that there are a significant number of seniors in the Prairie Village area that very much want this opportunity and want this product to be built. And, and through all of the discussions about what should be built and what shouldn't be built, I think sometimes that piece gets missed. In the end, it was all about negotiation on behalf of neighbors, developers, and the council. Now the project moves forward. Neither side would say this is exactly what they wanted. I think that this truly represents a compromise on both parties. But that compromise could be compromised if Councilman Morrison gets his way when he challenges the council's vote. All right, and at this time we're not totally sure how Councilman Morrison will challenge that vote. However, he says he will do it. Now, here is a timeline of what is to, uh, what should take place over the next few months and even up to the next year with Tutera. Now, in 2015, by the end of this year, they're looking to demolish that middle school. As we head into 2016, construction should begin on that senior living facility, and then finally they expect to complete that entire facility by the beginning of 2017. All right, so really done just about uh, a year and a half from now. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Tara.